Um, we'll, we'll come back to business model canvas mm. because I think it's uh, another very interesting term that you coined with. Mm. Uh, but firstly, uh, you know, I, I'm more interested in your thoughts. Uh, we, we had a conversation last night, and you, whenever I, I'm around you, you would say that. Uh, you know, you're living in the future by living in China, mm. whereas when you move back to Singapore, it feels so primitive. Yes. Uh, one of the examples that you used was the use of currency. Yeah. Uh, bring me to the future. Mm. Uh -huh. what, what do you mean by, you know, the future? Uh, and, and, you know, what, what do you mean by China being the future right now? From China, I, I, I see a future. Uh -huh. The future will be one whereby you are surrounded with AI, artificial uh -huh. intelligence. Right. You are surrounded by robots. You are surrounded by objects, um, IoT objects, Internet uh -huh. of Things. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, and in terms of business dealings, in terms of money transaction, well, um, blockchain will play a, 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 a significant role. A central role. Yeah. yeah. Because blockchain technology eliminates uh, centralized control, uh -huh. uh, centralized ledger. Right. So by decentralizing all this, uh -huh. you you create trust without relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the future, I I think is going to be different. Any third party right now will not have its place in the future. In the future, everything so middle guy will be eliminated. will be eliminated. Will be eliminated. Everything will be point to point. And using blockchain technology and any other technology to fill in the gaps for the need of trust. Like right now, you need a bank because the bank certified that you have this amount of money, mm -hmm. right? Your, your credit ratings and so on. Now, why do I need that? If I do not have that, I use a decentralized ledger in the blockchain. Mm -hmm. The blockchain is able to prove that I have, this, I have these assets. So... You don't need bank anymore. Mm -hmm. So bank need to redefine itself. Okay. So what is its role? Mm -hmm. What is its value proposition? Uh -huh. So I, I find business model canvas very interesting because it's sort of um, it's able to let you let you understand, let you fully appreciate the the business model mm -hmm. by using the business model canvas. So you, you can see where's the bottleneck, where's the weakness, where's the strength of a company. By just looking at this business model canvas, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's something that you draw out yes. that is easily, uh, you know, one look. Yeah, it, you, it's, you a, understand. it's a tool for you to fully appreciate the the, the business model. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. What does it entail? It entails um, target consumer. Uh -huh. So you you have different different kind of target consumer. So you have B two B, B two C, and and all all this. Then you have got your relationship. So how are you going to communicate your value proposition to your target consumer? Then you have your channels. So how does your target consumer um, transact? Through what channel? Through online stores, through physical retail. Uh -huh. Then you have your revenue stream. So on the right side of the business model canvas deals with how you earn money. How you translate your value proposition to earnings. Right. Then on the left side, you have your um, key resources uh -huh. plus your key activities to create this value proposition. Now, anything that you are weak in or you do not want, you find partners, your key partners to, to fill in the gaps. So on the left side, it sort of um, generates your cost structure. So by having the left and right sides, left side is about creating the value proposition right side is about selling the value proposition to your consumer. So when I look at the whole business model canvas, I can, I can have a good grips of uh -huh. how's your business. And, and you know what is lacking yes. very easily. Yes. Uh -huh. For example, um, if I'm a car manufacturer, right. I do not have any IP, then key resources wise, I'm weak. Uh -huh. I do not have any IP. Uh, intellectual property on say propulsion system or whatsoever then I, I, I know that hey, you know. so right away you know where the weakness yeah. is and you know where to yeah. attack yeah well, let's shift gear to China <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, this is fascinating because uh, you were at the peak of your career yes and then you switch gear yes uh, you drop everything yes uh, what brought you to China 
Uh, yeah, let's start with uh, when you went there yeah. and what you brought there. Yeah. What, what brought you there? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm uh, I won't call myself prophetic. I, w- I would say that I'm, I'm kind of a person that's um, easily get that, bored. That, that always question myself uh-huh, okay. whether is this what I want, uh-huh. whether is the present what I want. Uh-huh. So back in uh, 2000, 2006, uh-huh. I questioned myself, I mean, am I, am I am going, going to do this forever? Am I, am I going to be the design manager of OSIM and eventually become the CDO, the chief design mm-hmm. officer? Right. And am I going to retire in OSIM? Uh-huh. I mean, everything was powerful for me and uh, yeah. I, was, I was really achieving back then. So You're Winning awards with your design as well. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh-huh. I, 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 brought, I brought like four red dots to OSIM. Right. And a uh, couple of other awards as well. Uh-huh. Um, I started the whole design department with just me alone. And after that, uh, built a whole a strong team of uh, five person. Uh-huh. So you have much to lose? A lot. <laughs> I have everything to lose. Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm still questioning myself. <laughs> but the fact is that I can see the end. That is what worries me. Uh-huh. What I was think, the end? I mean, the end was like, okay, so I become the CDO, uh-huh. so I'll be earning like over 10k per month, uh-huh. so I have a family, I, I mean, uh-huh. that, that's the, I, I can see the end. That's wonderful for no, most that, people, that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but for, for me, it's, <laughs> it worries me, it's scary, it's, it's like, it's, it's like, you know, reading a storybook knowing it's end. So, yeah, I mean, to, to me, it's like, that, 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 that's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. But what, what do you see in China that prompt you to move it? Well, I would say that it's um, it's two oh six. It's, it's still it's still yeah, it's, early it's nothing, day in China. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nothing is nothing compared to now. Yeah. Um, back in oh six, um, it's like it's 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 like it's like people are still splitting on splitting on the floor. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so people don't queue up and so on. So right. Right, the social order is very different from now. Right. Um. What prompts me to move uh-huh. is that do I want to be the a sizable fish in the pond or do I want to be a sizable fish in the sea and to be a sizable fish in the sea that means I need to give up everything that I have in the pond and become a ikan bilis in the sea and to grow myself to become sizable right so I look upon it as a challenge uh-huh. and definitely I do not know how's the end going to be so there's a lot of uncertainty and it excites me <laughs> <laughs> And you just move. I just move. Uh-huh. I just leave everything behind uh-huh. and move. Um, so walk me through the journey. I, th- I think the the, the, the the first six months was tough. Uh-huh. I need to I need to change my thinking. Uh-huh. I need to understand that they have their way mm-hmm. of doing things. Um, the culture is different. The work ethic is different. Did you go there starting a business, or did you go there looking for a job? Okay. What, what happened in this first um, Philip Stark. Um, yep. Yeah, you know Philip Stark, right? Yeah. So, Philip Stark actually invited me to be the GM of his branch, his design consultancy branch in China. Oh. So I I uprooted and I went to Shenzhen. Um, after three three months, four months. I realized that his values and mine kind of uh, different. Yep. So I'm I'm more of a very practical person. Mm-hmm. His is a little more flamboyant, huh. uh, which is not quite what I what 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 what, what I what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So I left and then I started Titan. Yeah. Right. So it was it was like so three months after you stayed yes. in China, you started your own yes. company. Yes. Yes, that was so, very bold. It is. It is. It, everybody was, was saying like you know, oh, I mean, people around me they have uh-huh. seen me from from PSB all uh-huh. the way to OSIM. So you were a corporate guy all the way. Um, corporate guy all the way and uh-huh. uh, successful all the way. Uh-huh. So they deemed that oh, he's, he's going to fall. You know, it's like uh-huh. it's like you know, this is going to be too big a blow for him. That's crazy. So yes. they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are they were thinking uh-huh. that no, uh-huh. can 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 may not be able to get up on his you, own. You could have. Uh, you 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 could have. Apply for another job. I could, I could uh-huh. easily, but easily. but you chose the entrepreneurial path. Yes. Why? I'm the kind of person that I do not like to admit defeat. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So in China, 
it's quite difficult for me to get a job in China. Right. Because um, back then my Mandarin wasn't that good. I I I haven't sort of proved myself in the in that new market. Uh huh. So I thought, why not start a design company? Because um, I have enough experience. Um, by then I was like ten years into my uh, design career. So I thought, why not? Why not? Why not start my own company? Yeah, <laughs> that's so it. So yeah, that's it. That's it. I started with um, two computers, um, in a in a in a in a in a apartment. Mm-hmm. So the bedroom was like my home. The living room was like my studio. Mm-hmm. So, uh, in the in the early days, it was like twenty four hours working. Uh-huh. Yeah. So back then, I, I presume you would have no contact in China. Yes. Uh huh. And you you were there three months old. Yes. So I went back to people that I'm familiar with, like Daito. Daito right. manufactures for Osim. Right. So Daito was my first client in China. In China. Oh, they were in China. They are they are in China. They are in Shuzhou. All oh, right. Yeah. So I went to Daito. I said, hey, um, you know, I started my own uh, design design mm-hmm. agency and so on. Very clever. So so they gave me the first job, which is to design the. Uh, Aerobic is is it's sort of like a a chair that vibrates and moves, and by balancing yourself, it sort of exercises your your the tummy. Right, is yeah. that like the ho- riding the horse? Oh yes, yes, it is, it is. That, it is that's yeah. one. Yeah, you designed yeah. that. I designed that. I designed that. The one with the wow. sort of like the voice green sitting and a white yeah, yeah, white yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that was that was the first product that Titang designed. How, how uh, did you come up with that idea? That that's brilliant. Okay, a lot of a lot of horse riding machine sort of mimics horse riding. Mm-hmm. So I mean, horse riding. I mean, a woman doesn't want to ride a horse, right. you know, to get slim. Right. So what does a woman want? A woman wants a nice looking body. Right. So the champagne glass body of the aerobic sort of like mimics what they want. Uh-huh. So when you design the product, it's about what the consumer wants, what the user wants, right. instead of what you think it should be. You should talk to lots yeah. of women. Sorry, did you oh, yeah, talk to yeah, lots yeah. of people? We, 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 we did some some um, sort of like user studies and so on. Uh-huh. So yes, yeah, what kind of form affects you? Right. So um, we, we came up with a few models and they uh-huh. do their pickings and so on. Yeah, then oh. we end up with that particular form. Yeah, and, uh, and that was uh, widely sold in uh, Osim. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you were still working for Osim one way or another. Yeah, in in <laughs> through a proxy, <laughs> through a proxy. I, I think it's a proxy. <laughs>